In this tutorial, we're going to do a quick edit on this street photo from Italy. It looks pretty good out of camera, but I'd like to see a bit more detail inside the restaurant and fix the perspective on the doorway. So let's start with that. In the Shape tool tab, I'll find my Keystone tool. By default, automatic Keystone correction is set to verticals only, but I want to correct the horizontals as well. So I'll first pick that here and then choose Auto. And you can see that's done a nice job of making that doorway nice and square. At this point, I'm gonna go ahead and adjust my crop. So I'll pick the crop cursor tool up here on the toolbar. I'm going to crop tighter on the bottom and open out on the side slightly. There we go. Okay, let's go back to the adjust tool tab. As I said in the introduction, I'd like to see a bit more inside the restaurant. So I'm going to take the exposure slider and just dramatically increase that. And I can see there's really plenty of detail so I shouldn't have any issue in opening that up using the tools in Capture One. So I'll reset this slider for now with a double click and open up those shadows using the shadow slider. You can see the effect quite clearly on the door frame. So if I click on shadow, we can preview what's going on, but I would like to see a bit more deeper into the restaurant. So as that's a darker tone, I'll use the black slider to open that up slightly as well. Now if I option click on the reset button, we can see the combination of what both of those sliders are doing. So it's opened up lots of detail, but it still looks nice and natural. I'd like to brighten the overall photo a little bit now that I think of it. And I could use exposure, but that's gonna brighten the entire photo and doing so, I think it gets a bit too bright over here on the left-hand side on the walls and so on. So let's reset that. And instead I'll open up the brightness a small amount. This will focus a bit more on the midtones, so it's gonna protect our brighter areas. Right, let's scroll down to the levels tool. All I'm gonna do here is simply hit auto in the levels, and that's gonna set my shadow and highlight points. Make sure I have a nice spread of tonal range on the histogram and ensure that the photo doesn't look flat. The next thing I'd like to do is darken this open door down slightly. I feel it's a bit too bright and can be distracting. So scrolling down to the advanced color editor, I'm gonna begin by picking the color of the doorway. So somewhere around here. Now I'm not entirely sure what range that encompasses. So if I turn on view selected color range, I can see all the colors that have been picked up by my selection. If possible, I'd like to try and restrict it more to that doorway. So I'm going to squeeze the color range down, which helps a bit, and also cut out some of the lower saturated color tones. So somewhere around here. Now, if I turn off view selected color range, I can now darken this color selection down like so. To preview that, I can just turn this off and back on again. There's a few spots on the wall that I'd like to clean up and that's easily fixed with the heel brush. So first of all, I'll pick that here, go onto my photo, zoom in a little bit if it helps. I'll right click to bring up my brush settings and make my brush a bit larger. And then I can easily click and remove those spots. There was a couple more over here. So let's take those away. I'll do that in one brush stroke. And to make it a bit more realistic, I'm gonna move the source point to over here. So we've got some of that dirt in there too. Even though we've opened up the detail in the restaurant quite nicely, I think I'd like to see a bit more of the people eating. So I'm gonna open up the style brushes and then choose my Dodge Brighton style brush go over to my picture and do a few brush strokes on this area. And you'll see as soon as I started to brush, Capture One's made a new layer in the layers tool with the name of that style brush. 
and this style brush has all the settings set up automatically to do a nice job of brightening that area. So if we turn this layer off, I can see before and after. And that's quite enough to, to see a bit more into the restaurant, but again, importantly, it looks nice and natural. The only thing I'd like to do to finish off is maybe set a very slight vignette. To see before and after, you can click the before and after button up here on the toolbar, or a handy shortcut is to tap Y on your keyboard. And here we can see without any adjustments and with the few adjustments that we made.